Okay, good morning. Here we go. This is a Kawasaki Vulcan. It's either the Drifter, the 800. Yeah, that's the rare one. Look at that shit. It's been sitting for a little bit. Uh, that's what I want that sand blaster for. I'm gonna blast this shit right off here. Uh, yep, there you go. Anyway, uh, somebody was bobbing it. Of course, all they did was just, they didn't cut the frame or anything. Thank God. Yep. Mm, there's a tank for it. And if this is the original tank, the bike would only have about 6,725 miles. So, I mean, the keys fit everything. I just, this tank, this is rusted, stuck. So, well, and uh, wires, they're not cannibalized, you know, generally get one of these, somebody's done cut them and probed them to death. But this goes up into the tank, and a speedometer's cable, radiator, we'll check all that out. I did get it to where it would uh, spin over, but that's a chore, yeah, so I need to get a battery for it, sit here, and then go through the whole electrical system on it. I was using the battery off of that right there, and I might use it, you know, I should mow it on again. Do it. But I got diodes coming in, so I'll just leave that alone. More parts, new belts, and uh, diodes. But this little dude right here was free, and you would not believe it. <laughs> just shit. Uh -huh. A chick gave it to me. I seen it posted on Facebook, and I told her, I wrote, and said, you know, I'll come get it. <clears throat> and damn, when I got there, she was in shorts, uh, bikini top, mowing, and sweating like you just went out. Holy shit, she was a babe. Biker chick. Awesome. Mm. And this little dude right here, I'm going to play with and tinker with now. Yeah. Uh, it's got a bill of sales what it's got. It doesn't have a title. Which don't matter to me. I get the motor running, you know, hell, it's free. I do something with the motor. Yeah. Pretty cool. Chain driven. Oh, yeah. The shaft would have been cool. That would have been all right, but, you know, hell. So apparently this thing was parked because possibilities of well, everybody says that the solenoid goes out first. And if you're not doing any testing, taking and looking around at all these wires and checking them, see if you're getting fire up to the CDI and, uh, or, well, yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> and to your plugs and there's shit. It's a toy. And according to everything I've read about this thing, if it's at 6,000 miles, it's time to adjust the valves. Yay, every 6,000 miles. Well, it's almost 1,000 over, so we'll see. That's pretty cool, though. It's got forward controls. No, it don't have forward controls, but that's fine. I don't care. I don't like forward controls. 800 and it was free and this paint is really weird uh, look, you can see the green right there but you can peel it it's like peel and stick and on the bottom of it it's green you ever seen any shit like that not unless it's something they're using to wrap trucks and cars with or I don't know but we will check it out and diagnose the hell out of this thing. It's all there. The only thing really missing is the vacuum hose lines. That's the way they're hooked up. But by God, if I can get a fire up to this thing, woo, that was peeling too. I need to take a picture of that before that goes. Right, yep. <laughs> Not bad. Generally, it's, it's a basket case, but generally the wires are probed to death or cut or spliced together. 
Well, I don't play with it. I already looked up the carb. If I can't get this slide to moving, then the carb's uh, well, it's about 160 bucks, depending on which one I get. They vary. And I need to get the cleaner, and it's about the cheapest I'm going to find be one to come out to the side. The round ones, I can't find. I've looked everywhere. The original, that's what I want to do, put it back original, because I like cruisers. I don't want to bobber and an open ass because that shit will just throw all up your back <laughs> yeah good for a dry day well pops mm, that was not bad but this one she's getting it so i take the pops off and hell cut them put a new set on there or something or just take them off and uh well, I'm getting ready to do some electrolysis, you know, rust removing. Let's lay them down in there, remove the rust, and then wrap them with the tape, heat tape. Who cares? It's free. I need a cover, this cover right here, and like that one's on there. But the key, the shit, it fits every damn thing. It fits the lock on the steering. It fits. The case cover here to get it off here. It fits the helmet lock right there. Uh, shit. It fits that too. I just I can't get it to turn. <laughs> I might end up drilling it and getting a new cap. That's what I'm probably end up doing. I'm gonna try to play with it. You know. I got one of them house locks things that you can change. The key, you can set, you can do what you want, really. We'll see if I can't get it down in there and get it to hold. This is flat. I got it up in this box over here. Much of shit I got collected. There you go, guys. Peace.